windowcleaner.com. So in this video, we're just gonna go over the necessary accessories for water fed pole that make the job easier for you. Let's start out with brushes. Brushes in general, um, there's usually three types, an old nylon brush, a hybrid brush with boar's hair in the middle, or an all boar's hair brush. My particular favorite is an all boar's hair brush. I'll use this on most cleans, except for cleans that I do quite often. Boar's hair will grab onto the glass a little more, but it does a lot more aggressive job at cutting the dirt, agitating that dirt on the glass, being able to rinse it off easier. Um, brushes like a hybrid brush have more easier glide on the glass, also have a good scrub because of the boar's hair in the middle. And then um, all nylon brushes, which I really don't use anymore, those I would particularly say use those for just maintenance cleans in general. A couple extra accessories that are on these brushes that make the job a little bit easier is the um, tucker over the top rinse bar. The tucker over the top rinse bar provides a really good cascade of water for hydrophobic windows and hydrophilic windows, making it super easy to get really good results. Um, this brush also has four pencil jets in it, which are also a very good option for rinsing the glass. Another thing this brush has is a swivel allowing you to get flush with the glass on weird angles. Um, you can also change the angle of it just right there. And then by twisting this right here, you can lock that up in the setting that you want with the angle that you want. Other things that you can add on to the brush that make it a little bit easier to tackle dirty cleans more is the DA bronze wool attachment. This comes in the six inch, I believe this is a six inch or an eight inch, and it also comes in a mini one. It just, um, when you start using this kind of stuff, um, this is really great for if there's just a little extra dirt, a little extra bird poop or something like that, maybe a little piece of silicone. I wouldn't suggest it if the window is full of paint or full of silicone or full of other debris. I would suggest you doing it traditionally. So let's go to the actual pole. So as far as poles go, I've created a lot of videos about certain type of poles and stuff like that. I have a video called the which water fed pole is best or right for you, something like that. And you can look there to see kind of what different water fed poles are out there. But of course, next you're gonna need a water fed pole. This is the Zero Pro Gold Ultimate 40 Ultra High Mod Super Light Water Fed Pole. But an accessory that I have in this pole to basically turn off and on the water um, makes it super, super nice to be able to control how much water you're using on the job. And basically what that is, is right inside there, there's just this little piece. And basically with a tug on the bottom of the pole, you can turn it on and off on the glass. So if you were to turn it turn it on, of course you have water coming out. And usually what I'll do is I'll turn it off when I leave the pole somewhere or turn it off when I'm using a bronze wool attachment. It just makes it super easy to control how much water you're using. And that just goes right in the top section of your water fed pole. and then just fits in just like that. Super, super easy. As far as the pole go, there's nothing much more with the pole. So let's get on to the connections from the pole to the water fed pole system. So one more accessory though for your water fed pole that you'll also wanna get are some goosenecks. Goosenecks are just gonna make it easier to be able to go over ledges easier at high heights. This is a Unker gooseneck. And this is also a nine inch adjustable gooseneck and they're just going to attach to your Euro thread on top of your water fed pole, like so. Just making it easier to get over those deep, deep ledges when doing high heights or even second story windows. So next, so from coming out of water fed pole, we're gonna have tubing, right? So this is zero tubing. Um, I suggest at most only using about 100 feet of this kind of tubing when at any job. Um, and that includes the amount of tubing that's in your pole. So usually you have a 40 foot pole, you'll have somewhere between 40 and 50 feet of tubing, right? And then you wanna have maybe just an extra 50 feet of this. But what I try to do is from that, I like to use the hosing, the hose that comes with zero pure system which is right here so this hose right here what you'll do is you'll attach this on the 
part where the water is coming out of the DI tank. And then from there, what you'll do is you'll attach this. You'll screw this onto that hose. And then that tubing like this, that's coming from your water fed pole, that's what you're going to attach in here. And that water from the system is gonna be going to your water fed pole, up your water fed pole, to the brush and coming out either your pencil jets, your fan jets, or your over the top rinse bar, okay? And the reason why I tell you to only use about 100 feet of that kind of tubing is because you will lose pressure with the amount of feet that you use. If you're getting to 200 feet of just that kind of tubing, you're gonna lose a lot of pressure. So you wanna use either the tubing that you get with the zero pier, or you can also use this accessory, which was one of my favorite accessories and has allowed me to never ever use a pump with the zero pier. So this right here, is a RHG 100 foot hose reel. You don't need to have the hose reel. It is nicer to have it to be more portable, but you don't need that. You can also buy this tubing, which has a 3 8 inch inner diameter hosing and makes it makes the pressure of the water stay so much better over a long distance. You can get it in 100 feet or 200 feet. I highly, highly suggest tubing like this if you're doing big commercial buildings or even big houses, it's just gonna keep your pressure so much better and be able to have you really have no issues. So from there, of course, we go through the tubing and everything. The connections that you're gonna use, right, to connect your tubing are ones like this. And basically, I would suggest always having a couple extra of these. Um, what this does is you can take that out, you can have that connected into your zero tubing you can do it one of two ways. You can leave them unconnected like this and always connect them up like that. I always keep this as a whole piece separate and screw it on every job. These are a little bit fragile and can break a little bit easy. So I suggest just being careful with these, but this is something you always want two of. And also you always want to have extra connectors like these. These connections are for your tubing here and usually you'll be connecting the tubing from your water fed pole to tubing like this right and these just go on to here so every year you at least want to probably order an extra five of them um, for all your vehicles or just your own vehicle to have around because they're, they're quite easy to lose so we've gone from the brush to the pole, the different accessories on the pole. We've traveled down the tube, the different connections on there to keep those tubes connected. And then we've traveled all the way back to our system. My system is the zero pier currently. Um, great, great system. It's an RODI system. I talked about this in a lot of videos. Um, there's a lot of great videos on the your system window cleaning resources YouTube channel about the zero pier that you can check out and uh, find out more about it but basically this is your DI this is your RO this is your carbon and through the three stages you're gonna be able to purify really any water with a high TDS down to zero creating pure water so that when you rinse off the glass you're getting a perfect finish um, at the end another thing that's really um, important to have is a TDS meter, and this will come with a zero pier when you order it, but it's super important so that you can track the TDS of the water and know if your system's doing well or not as far as um, making the water pure. So to connect to, so to connect a water source to your zero pier, I suggest just having some sort of garden hose. Um, this is not something needed to buy in any special website. You can really pick this up at any local, um, you know, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, any of those kind of stores. I suggest just the zero G flex hose around a 25 footer. And I always do all the quick connects that you can pick up at your, you can pick these up with clean resource. You can pick these up at anywhere you want. Basically it's just gonna make your connections super easy. You don't have to twist everything on every time you get at a job. But really that sums up the different accessories that I use for my water fed pole system. I think it's extremely important just to have extra of these. I always have quite a few brushes on me from boar's hair to hybrid. Um, and then of course the two DA component or zero 
bronze wool pads and those make it um, super easy to remove you know tough debris that's not coming off with just a normal brush but I hope this video has kind of helped you in knowing what accessories are necessary now you could do without like a univalve you could do without the bronze wool pad holder um, you could do without an ultra high mod pole you could do without a big system like this you could do it with just a di tank but what i'm showing here is basically a system where you kind of have all the answers for um, you're able to turn on and off your water you're able to you know use as much hose you need to get how far you need um, you'll learn a lot of things over time as you start using water fed pole of more accessories you want even me i'm always learning in this process of knowing what accessories are best for water fed pole systems and um, so i hope this video has kind of helped you in knowing which accessories you need for your water fed pole it was hard to do this video at a job it was better for me just to walk through the van of what i have in here and to show you that way but if you have any questions, comment below. And also, if you're watching this video and you have tips for others, please share them below as well. I think it always helps others out a lot if there's something you see here. Um, you see a lot of like van mounted systems. Um, those kind of systems are for people that just feel like they need it. That, that is not a necessary thing that you absolutely need. It's a very popular in the UK. It has become more popular in the United States as far as having a van mounted water fed pole system. We just particularly, I find it easy to set up um, at any job. It's just the way I've done it for so long. It's the way I like to do it. But if you have any questions, comment below. We'd be happy to answer for you. In all these products, uh, you can find it at window clean resource or windowcleaner.com. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Hope you all have a good day. We'll talk to you later. Bye bye.